Welcome back to today's Bible study. I uh, hope everyone's enjoying these daily readings that we're doing together and daily little insights trying to give you into uh, our readings. Today we're going to be reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 4. And if you're reading at home, read verses 27 through 54. So the Gospel of John, chapter 4, verses 27 through 54. This is a follow-up to yesterday's Bible study. Yesterday we talked about Jesus meeting the woman at the well. Today, what we see is the end of that story. Uh, the woman has gone back to her hometown to tell everyone about this man that she's met, this miraculous man, Jesus, and she brings the group back. She, she brings them back. Well, in the interim time, the disciples are trying to get Jesus to get something to eat. They're, they're bringing him food, and they're saying, here, Jesus, you know, here, Rabbi, eat, you know, eat something. But he said, you know, I have a food that, that you don't even know about. And they're like, well, did somebody give you food? And he, and he no, 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 it's not that. I am actually sustained by doing the will of my Father. I'm actually blessed. Um, you know, for me, it's, it's better than eating is to do the will of my Father. And he says uh, in verse 34, Jesus said to them, my food is to do the will of him who sent me and to accomplish his work. And then in verse 35, he begins to give kind of an analogy. He starts talking about, he says, Do you not say there are yet four months? Then comes the harvest. Look, I tell you, lift up your eyes and see that the fields of the har are white for harvest. Already the one who reaps is receiving wages and gathering fruit for eternal life, so that the sower and reaper may rejoice together. For here the saying holds true, one sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap that for which you did not labor. Others have labored and you have entered into their labor. Now, I read that portion because I want to make sure that everyone understands really what Jesus is trying to say here. He's talking to them. He's using the harvest as an analogy uh, for evangelism. He says, you know what? I, I've, I've done the work of my Father. My food is to do the will of my Father, my, and the will of my Father is to gather in the elect, is to gather in people who believe on his Son. And he said, you know... Uh, you can look at the field and you can say, you know, there's four months to harvest. You can look at the field and say, you know, we've got time. We've got time before harvest is coming. He said, but really, when it comes to evangelism, you don't do it that way. You don't say there's four months to the harvest. You say, you know what, the fields are white now for the harvest. There's always people in the world that God is preparing their hearts to be evangelized. The fields are always white for the harvest. There's always people out there that God is going to open their hearts to hear the gospel. Now somebody might say, well, Lord, Pastor, every time I try to witness, it just seems like I hit brick walls. It seems like the, it just seems that, that, that it's getting harder and harder all the time to witness for the gospel. People are just becoming more and more hard-hearted on the Internet and on television, and all the people that I meet just don't want to hear about the gospel anymore. The, the truth of the matter is, while that all happens, there are still people out there who, like Lydia, when the Apostle Paul preached to her, God opened her heart to hear the gospel. And there are all kinds of people out there who God will open their heart if we would just go out and witness the gospel for them, witness to the gospel for them. We don't need to be in the business of saving people. It's not our job to save people. It's our job to preach the gospel, and God will do the same. God will open up their hearts. If we are faithful to the proclamation of the gospel, God will be faithful that when we preach that people will hear and, and, and that souls will be saved. And you know what? You may be a seed planter, and someone else may come along later and, and, and speak to them about Jesus, and, and, and at that moment they receive the gospel. But in either way, what you need to be remembering is that the, the, the fields are white, there is always people in the world that God is opening up their hearts to the gospel. And what we need to be doing is we need to be going out and we need to be harvesters, evangelists, reaching out to people so that they can hear the gospel and believe. And that's the message I want to think I want you to think about when you're reading that. I want you to read on where it says in verse 35, look, I tell you, lift up your eyes and see that the fields are white for the harvest. The world is white for the harvest. The, the world is ready to hear the gospel. If we would just go out and tell people about it, there are people God will open their hearts to believe. And that's our message for today. I hope you all have a blessed day and that you're enjoying these Bible studies. Don't forget to comment. Uh, if you have something that you'd like me to talk about or if you have a question, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment box that's right below this video. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.